What's up, everyone? Welcome to this brand new video about Facebook ads for car dealerships. My name is Mark. I'm the founder of Autobahn Digital and I've been involved helping uh, car dealerships since uh, a little bit over 15 years to make a better business online. So following some questions on my coaching clients, I decided to create a brand new uh, Facebook ad strategy session where I share my best tactics and best and best strategies to help you uh, sell more cars with Facebook. So without further ado, let's step right into it. Okay, perfect. So here's what we're going to learn today. Okay, so I want to make sure you can you learn how to drive high quality leads with Facebook ads without breaking the bank. I will be sharing with you guys my three favorite and proven frameworks to run Facebook ads in the automotive industry. Plus, I'm going to give you a bonus. I'm going to give you my 35 plus, I think it's 40, actually 40 recipes for Facebook ads. You will be able to uh, completely steal from me and run as your own in the future. Okay, so I'm going to include a few bonuses with this web class today. So I want to share with you guys my Facebook cheat sheet for car dealers. So if you're new to Facebook or you're not sure where to start, this is key. This is what you'll use to make sure you get up and running as fast as possible. Then my favorite 35 plus Facebook recipes. I say 35 because I keep finding more recipes that actually work for my clients. So I want to share with them with you. And um, I want to make sure you can use all of them. That's free. Okay. So Facebook starter guide for car dealerships. Plus, I also want to send you a an exclusive interview with Facebook Ed of Automotive. And at the end of this video, I want to share a special offer uh, from me and my team. Um, just to make sure you can increase your sales from Facebook ads in any market, in today's market, with and without any uh, COVID and, and such. So let's go. Here's my goal for today, okay? Obviously, I want to do a sub 20 minute uh, web class today around Facebook ads. And of course, there's going to be some things left out. But my goal is that by the end of this web class, you'll be able to run profitable automotive Facebook ads um, and this is uh, will be true for any brand in any market. Okay, so good to go. All right, let's go. Uh, who is this web class for? Okay, so this is addressed to dealership owners, principals, anyone involved in um, the operations and marketing of a car dealership today, uh, whether it's a single rooftop dealership or a dealer group. It also applies to people who are. Uh, running an agency or want to run an agency serving dealer clients. So you will be able to find new insight in this in this web class today. And of course, uh, at any given time, you can input and ask questions in the comments section below. Uh, make sure you ask any question that comes to mind. I'll be super happy to answer them um, when, when you do. So before we keep going, I just want you to know I've applied these frameworks to car dealerships in North America, Europe, and Australia. I was surprised to find that they work anywhere for any brand, okay? So let's keep going. Ready? Good. Okay, so why am I qualified to help you with Facebook ads today, okay? So just a quick uh, glance over my experience, my personal experience in the automotive industry. I started in 07 uh, selling cars at Volkswagen. I sold a cherry red uh, convertible Beetle. I'll never forget that sale of my life. And then I moved on to General Motors, Volkswagen again, Audi, Audi of America. I've also ended up managing online campaigns because of my backgrounds for Ford, GM, BMW, Honda, and Toyota, plus um, on, like a couple other brands uh, on the web, such as Walmart, Keurig, uh, the, like the coffee makers, and, um, and many, many more. I've been lucky to be involved with a lot of large um, ad campaign budgets, so I've learned a lot since 2010, managing over 25 million in ad spend to this day. My agency is now running a mostly social media marketing uh, campaign and is currently helping dozens of car dealerships manage their ads on Facebook, Instagram, and Google. Plus, uh, we, we've started to implement on TikTok as well. And all these clients have been uh, coming through my online platform that's, that's meant to train car dealerships on mostly marketing with a little bit of sales. Um, and we already have 2,000 students enrolled in Autobahn Academy. So here are the top mistakes made by car dealers today is on Facebook, okay? If you're not doing Facebook ads, in my opinion, you're like, 
missing out big time. Okay, 95% of today's car buyers are, are, are using Facebook. So you should too, okay? Number two, impatience. I can't stress this enough, but if you're not patient with online marketing, you're not gonna, you're never gonna like it, okay? You gotta keep doing things for a certain amount of time and not expect results under seven days, okay? I know it's a it's a trait of our industry to expect anything under 30 days because the end of month and everything, you know. But um, when, when you pace it a little bit more, you can find um, better strategies this way. Boosting posts, okay? In one single occasion, you can do so. I, I shared this with one of my co- coaching clients earlier today. But otherwise, uh, it was good in 2020, uh, 2012. Today, like, there's a lot more to be done. Use business.facebook.com to run your ad campaigns or uh, trust your agency, okay? This is what you got to do. Fo- like boosting posts is not it right now. Number four, focusing on likes, okay? Organic reach on Facebook has shrunk big time, usually 5 to 10% for dealers, so don't bother. If you got... 10,000 likes, this means you'll le- uh, you, your post will reach 500 to 1,000 people every time, and most likely the most people because they're they're engaged with your Facebook page. Plus, a couple of these might be ac- your actual employees, so skip on that if you can. Car dealers who are running uh, 200x return on ad spend on Facebook uh, are using funnels, okay? If you're not using funnel, this is your mistake number five, not building funnels with Facebook. This is a huge waste of money, Okay. You have to take your customer through a funnel in any given space, including Facebook. Error number six from dealers, and this is super important. Uh, most of you guys, a lot of you guys are running only one ad, okay? So look at it this way, okay? If you were to go fishing, would you choose to fish with one line or a fishing net and a big boat? So this is exactly what you got to do with your Facebook ads right now. If you're expecting big results out of one ad, you're missing out big time, okay? Number seven, I, I can't believe I still catch people not doing this. No pixel, no pixel installed on their website, okay? So no pixel, no data. Facebook doesn't know who's on your site and who's, who's leaving your site, okay? This is a no-brainer, but you guys, you got to check if your pixel is installed, properly installed, and up-to-date, okay? Um, some dealers, I find that they got like an old pixel that was served by another agency. It's not active anymore or it's not used. Mistake number eight, custom audience um, not set, okay? Some uh, dealers are still not running custom audiences, pooling people from new car, used car, service, you know, all that kind of stuff, finance, if you will. Uh, so you're missing out if you're not doing that. Evergreen campaigns, not error number nine. Your audience should be involved and engaged at all times during the year, okay? Some, um, like some, most dealers are uh, running OEMs, manufacturers, uh, promos uh, every month, and that's it, you know? You got to keep running your own evergreen campaigns. I cover everything about evergreen campaigns in my platform, but I just want to raise the awareness in your in your mind about this, okay? And error number 10, poor ad copy, okay? So bad ad copy will not engage your audience and, they're, and, won't, and won't stop them from scrolling, okay? People going onto Facebook have to be interrupted. You have to interrupt them with the, like the proper image, proper creative, and the proper proper ad copy. Okay, this is super important, but it, it's left on the side even from uh, manufacturers and OEMs with poor ad copy. Are you guys making any of these mistakes currently running Facebook ads? If so, would you like to keep going? Yeah? Okay, cool. Okay, so automotive Facebook ads, myth number one. My dealership has to spend a lot of money to sell cars on Facebook. So it's cool because uh, obviously I'm working with a lot of dealers and I've been able to ask a few questions, uh, try to understand what they are, uh, what, what they think about running Facebook ads. So I, I, I pulled the number three myths I found were most relevant. So let's keep going, shall we? So automotive Facebook ads, myth number one. My dealership has to spend a lot of money to sell cars on Facebook. Okay, so this is false. Our average client invests 1500 monthly on Facebook ads, okay? The biggest spenders we have on our end, and I know like people that are spending even more than that, they are, they're at $10,000 a month, okay? <clears throat> and these guys are huge dealerships, okay? Selling thousands of cars every single year. The average Facebook lead was $8.24 in 2021 across all auto dealers we work with, okay? And these are not like flaky leads and... Um, 
because there's there are a few ways actually to to drive one dollar and two dollars and three dollar leads on Facebook, but I found the sweet spot where it was around eight to twelve dollars, as we're still looking to close sales at the end of the of the lead, not just generate leads for the fun of it, right? You're running a business, you got to be able to sell cars from these guys. Uh, I I never thought I'd, I I'd be saying this, but Facebook now yields a three times. Um, better ROI over Google Ads for our clients. If you had asked me that question two years ago, I would have said, you know, you're crazy. You'll never reach Google with Facebook ads. But I was approaching the problem differently, like the wrong way, <laughs> should I say. Okay, I was not like, you got to approach both platforms super differently. But you do have the same people going on Google and Facebook. You just have to find ways to engage them with like solid campaigns and over time, ROI, it got cheaper in Facebook, especially when you're using video. There's one thing I, we, I, I, I'm not hearing that much, but you got to think about this, okay? Facebook's demography is now older. Younger generations are on Snap and TikTok, even if you know they're grabbing pretty much everyone now. But Facebook uh, like quality of leads is getting higher every year. Because people that are still engaging on the platform now have 35 years old, 45 years old, and not 20 just browsing around, right? So I think this is something to be remembered here. And plus, Facebook's algorithm is super, super mature. Even if Apple removed a bunch of things, uh, like tracking-wise and everything, um, you know, I, I, I feared it would impact our campaigns, but it didn't. You know, they got so many data points. It's crazy. It's scary at some point, but it's it's crazy. So this is why it works. So does any of that make sense to you now? I wanted to show you a quick overview of um, last month's uh, campaigns at Autobahn Digital. So this is what we're like a snapshot of what we're running for clients, just to make sure you you know I'm talking about the real deal. So I went for result, reach, impression, cost per result. Okay, it varies here from 8 to 20 to 12 to 1. This is a reach campaign, though. Uh, and then the amount spent. You see, it's not like huge um, a budget per campaign. And we're trying to balance the frequency and try to address everything to make sure it works. I, I, I run super high frequency campaigns because uh, this helps me segment in a better way. Pretty much exclude people who are not interested in uh, your, your vehicles right now. Automotive Facebook ads, myth number two. Automotive Facebook leads are low quality and impossible to turn into sales, okay? So this is super, super false. I just want to cover a few things. It can be true unless you know what you're doing, okay? So key number one, you have to have to build a Facebook funnel like I talked about earlier, okay? You got to take your prospect through your funnel, okay? And then by the end, they're qualified customers or unqualified customers you can drop at that point. We've been having a lot of success using Facebook's own messenger, driving a lot of leads. But the problem is at some point, you're you're kind of driving too many leads for people inside your dealership to be handling. So this is where we chose to uh, implement like uh, robots and chatbots in between just to make sure you can qualify your customers. And although some people hate chatbots, almost every single client I'm, I'm serving right now hated them at first, but now they wouldn't do without them. So if, if done correctly, it's a super efficient tool. Would you like to see how I'm doing this exactly? Yeah? Okay. Just before you keep, keep going. Everyone agrees in sales that it takes six to eight marketing touches to generate a viable sales lead. Okay, Everyone knows that, but it's like... We forget to do it when we apply our marketing strategies. We try to just put up a form on Facebook and expect a lead that's going to be able to close a deal uh, like in the same day, right? But in reality, it doesn't work like this. Are you like guilty of this? Have you ever like approached marketing this way? Probably, right? So, you know, <laughs> here's a question. I'm going to I'm going to take you through how I see it when I run Facebook ads for a new client, okay? First of all, you start with unknown people or people that don't know you, okay? So you don't know them, they don't know you. But what you want what you want to do is try to reach as many people as possible and try to exclude as many possible as fast as possible as well. Here's the thought, okay? Think about it like this. If your PMA or primary market area has 300,000 people, 
Are you going to sell 300,000 cars every year or every four years? No, right? Because not everyone will be qualified to be a, driving a car, want a car, afford a car, want your brand, want this model, and has to change vehicles. So this shrinks super, super rapidly. And this is why you're probably selling 50, 100, like 200 a month, right? You want to show these people content that polarizes them, if that makes sense, to uh, are they interested or not? And these are not, you, you can exclude them with Facebook. That's that, This is why it, it works super well. So super quick, you'll end up with a stream of super warm and super hot prospects for your, for your models at a super reasonable cost. Because at that point, you're not targeting 300,000 people. You're targeting maybe 15,000 people. And guess what? Sending impressions on the web to 15,000 people is so much cheaper than 300,000 people. And this is why we can achieve sub $10 qualified leads. Make sense? Okay. Automotive Facebook ads, myth number three. Facebook is only good for used cars. Okay. Heard this before? All right. Okay. So Facebook is not only good for used cars. Maybe in the past, yes. And with Marketplace and uh, like, you know, they changed stuff for Marketplace. Yeah, there's a few hacks you can do right now, but I'm not sure how it's going to hold up in the future. But I'm not even, I don't even need that. Facebook's committed to auto with a dedicated program and experts. Okay, it's a lot of revenue for these guys every year if every dealerships and manufacturers use Facebook as ads. So they have to make sure it works for them, right? Because if it doesn't, you won't be placing your ad dollars on Facebook. You'll be placing them on Google and otherwise. This is why it's super important for them because it's millions and hundreds of millions of ads spent every year if they do it right. Uh, dynamic targeting uh, can include new car now. So this is something to be uh, aware of. I see a lot of you guys doing it, but not every single one of you. So please consider that with your agency or inside team if you wanted to like do dynamic retargeting uh, new vehicle inventory. On our end, we've been managing Facebook ads for clients, and I would say 80 to 84% of client budget is invested for new cars uh, versus used cars and finance, okay? Plus, we found a, we, we found a way with most OEMs to allow uh, those Facebook ads to be co-opted, so you should be taking advantage of that, obviously. This is a quote I want to insert in that, uh, in that web class because when you understand that concept, it's super, super powerful because what you got to do is always enter the conversation already occurring in the customer's mind. And this is why search is so powerful because you're actually serving a result based on a search, okay? So I, as a customer, I instigate that search. So therefore, I'm minimally interested in that product, right? But that was a challenge with Facebook. And this is how I couldn't crack the code two years ago. And now I'm super confident on how we run things. Uh, just, just it's just a matter of building that funnel I talked to you about the right way to be entering the conversation in the customer's mind. I want to I want to transition over to like proven frameworks that work. We've covered um, key dealership mistakes, uh, like myths about Facebook ads in the automotive industry. Now I want to show you a few proven uh, Facebook ads frameworks. So if you want to improve, uh, increase the number of quality um, leads from Facebook. You got to increase friction, okay? It's easy to pull $2 leads on Facebook ads. But the thing is, like I said earlier, they don't close in sales that much. They don't answer. You got the wrong information, wrong uh, phone number, wrong email, you know, and both wrong if you want. So on our end, we're aiming at $15 to $25 lead that convert on average at 20, um, 18% sale, okay? 20 is a little bit high. We do have clients closing at 25% but it's not all of them. But at the same time, when you close one out of five at, let's say, $25, costs you $125, $125 on Facebook to create a new customer, okay? Because these are mostly Conquest customers, usually. And the key here is to find a conversion rate sweet spot for your store, and then you scale up your budget uh, until you reach a ceiling, because there's always a ceiling, uh, like a ceiling. You won't be able to spend $100,000 on Facebook, at least while keeping a positive ROI, because it's always possible in a, in a market where you have 200,000 people living there. Okay, makes sense. And before I switch slide, I pretty much transitioned over from anything that's traffic or lead ads anymore, because I found like so many better ways 
uh, to drive better leads. Okay, so these we don't use them anymore. Uh, framework number two, funnel, a Facebook funnel, build a Facebook funnel. Okay, it's super important. Uh, we all know the drill. We all know what a funnel is. We all know the importance and the basics of it. And we're not doing it, right? So you got to take your buyers through a journey and then you got to trust the process. This way, you make sure you can stop being reactive and be proactive with your with your, with your your ads, okay? This is super key. It's something I, I, I got to learn over time. Try to dr- like to drive predictable results for car dealerships. You just have to put like a recipe in place, and you got to be a little bit patient. But it it turns out uh, super great every time. Uh, honestly, the f- my favorite portion of it all is that you can build this Facebook funnel to be ninety percent evergreen. Like the ten percent that's left should be your OEMs, a manufacturers special offer, which you don't know where they're gonna be anyway. And you're going to get them on the 4th at 9 (laughs) a.m. And then your DSM is going to call you at 10 and ask you where, why everything is not up already on your website, on your ads and everything. Okay, so please try to set up as many evergreen campaigns as you can. This will increase performance, reduce stress and agency fees as well. I'm going to go like glance over real quick. Uh, Awareness, interest, decision, action. You got to have a Facebook ad for every single part of it <clears throat> most dealerships right now you're only doing ads for these guys here and you're missing out on these things and guess what if you're missing out on these this portion here is going to be super narrow instead of being a great and large funnel i just want to give you a sneak peek on the autobahn dashboard this is kind of how i map everything that's been going on with our clients so the number of of campaigns here the activity which audience we're aiming at like the dates, uh, are we aiming for new car, used cars, the budget and everything? I'm not saying you should use this, but you should find a way with your agency or marketing team inside to be managing your campaigns on a yearly level. Okay, Stop being reactive every single month. You should be able to plan ahead. We already know 90% of the business what it's going to be like. Um, peaks and valleys. Okay, fine COVID and everything, but it's a predictable business. Every every single year is pretty much the same. Uh, tire seasons, uh, you know, you got, uh, you got the holidays and everything. You should be ready at all times. Okay, last but not least, Facebook ads framework number three, segmentation, okay? When you know somebody is qualified, then you got to understand where they sit. Are they looking for a new car, used car? Um, are they 30 days from purchase or like 24 hours from purchase? You can do that with Facebook as well. If you segment them through the the right messaging, okay? This will increase your appointment numbers, whether it's a sales team, internet sales team, or BDC. It will increase the store closing ratios as well, okay? So your uh, salespeople will thank you. (laughs) So you can send them like proper customers and they'll be richer too and and they'll stick around, right? Plus, it's going to give a real positive impact on your overall marketing strategy. This is super important. Like every single coaching call I get with customers, with clients, uh, like dealer clients these days, is mostly about segmentation, okay? This is super important. Please find a way to make it work in your store. Okay, so let's keep going, shall we? So this is the these are the 40 Facebook ads recipes you're welcome to steal from me. I've been using these for a long time and I keep adding at it. So you can do testimonials for, for sale service, trade-ins like uh, we'll buy a car, trading bonuses, vehicle uh, vehicle testimonials, okay? Someone who has purchased a specific uh, vehicle could, uh, can have a positive feedback about it. So you should share that information as well. Deliveries with happy customers. This is what we see most, um, but usually it's under posts. It's not really ads. So you can run ads with these guys. And um, with deliveries with testimonials is even more powerful. So let's say you can like have a one-liner from that happy customers in front of his or her pickup. Uh, I love my new Silverado. Uh, Michael was amazing. Okay, you can run uh, inventory carousel ads like for new, for pre-owned uh, service package offers. This you could go like endless. Uh, whether it's uh, like an oil change, Aquapel, like a specific package that makes sense and that's super aggressive, especially when you have strong competition in your market. New car lineup, new arrivals, anything that's coming on the lot, you can pick them fresh off the truck as well as a photo. If you're running lift kits and body kits for uh, your customers and um, you're into aftermarket, uh, this you should post as well. Uh, customer bills as well. 
if you have like two, three nice trucks you built lately, you should take pictures of them and use them in your ad strategies as well. Everything here could be run like for like one dollar a day. Okay, it's super cheap. Then you could uh, you could use this for a finance cal calculator, a free finance analysis. This has been uh, pretty strong with finance customers, uh, like a like a, a con like consultation type of thing where you draw scenarios of financing before choosing a car, approaching um, the problem differently with these customers. Then free guides, super effective. You can have them to um, serve as lead magnets so people will download these uh, guides. Uh, so this way you are ex exchanging information, valuable uh, purchasing inf information for these buyers. Um, uh, and you're, uh, you're, you're, you're switching them for their email address and phone number. If you're able to send a link through SMS, that's even more, more powerful. Credit score, dynamic ads. So... Part two, and then I got 20 more here. Zero down lease, monthly payments, cash bonus, OEM stress programs. Obviously, these will be the ones that will be um, be able to claim as co-op. Uh, free trading quotes, instant trading, uh, trading quotes, depending on what tools you have on your website. Winter, summer tires. Uh, you can um, win your... That's a typo. Win your summer and winter tires. Uh, this has been super effective because this way you can see who's driving in a car in your uh, primary market area. Um, not all your brands, but you can pull a lot of data, a lot of people in, into your database by um, with, with sweepstakes and contests like these. Uh, but don't base your strategy only on contests. It's not going to work, okay? Inventory under tw uh, like $10,000, $25,000, uh, $15,000, like a price range that makes sense in your market, you can push it. Free approval calculator, new vehicle launch, VIP wait list. So let's say uh, like the new Silverado is coming into two years, like the, the electric one. Please start pooling customers right now, okay? Because there's going to be wait lists. There's going to be new allocations. You don't want to be left hanging. Uh, sometimes you just sell them all. Good, good for you. Sometimes you get stuck with 6, 20 of them. And that's not what you want. Tire balance uh, packages, specific models, group branding, local branding, local endorsement. Let's say you're... I don't know when one of your friends is using a uh, like owns a restaurant. You should be doing content around this and push it as ads. It's good for both businesses. Events. Uh, let's say you're supporting a local sports team. It works too. Blog articles. Most of you guys have dozens of blo blog articles. Why am I not finding these in your Facebook ad strategy? You should be linking one ad per blog post. If these blog posts are of interest in your local area, these are potential buyers for you guys. Okay, this is simple not doing it carousels with uh like depending inventory new cars used cars mixed up cars or every single challenger you have on lot right now uh you know you can be super creative about this shuttle service if you want so here's the next step for you guys you are now equipped to go create your perfect facebook ad campaign okay if you're missing anything let me know in in this uh in the comment section of uh, of this video Please ask me a question, anything, any question. There's no dumb question, okay? If there's anything I went over super fast and you wish I would do some piece of content and answer you, I'll, I'll try to do my best to answer all comments. And then I'll, uh, I'll be able to help you even more in your business, whether you are a dealership, an agency, whatever, okay? Don't forget to download the free tools. There's going to be a link in the description, autobahndigital.co.co. It's not .com, it's .co uh, slash Facebook. Everything's going to be under here. Facebook starter guide, cheat sheet for car dealers, my recipes, cookbook in detail with examples, exclusive interview link with the head of automotive at Facebook. So this is all the information you need to run your ads. But if you want my team to run your Facebook ads, please reach out to us at autobahndigital.co slash Facebook ads service. There's going to be a link in the description as well. Or you can send an email to hello, H-E-L-L-O at autobahn digital.co as well you'll reach someone on my team and we'll be able to get started from here okay so if you want to run your ads yourself but you you feel like you need more more information or a technique i'm working on a um on a space like a mini series for youtube okay i want to keep it automotive um but you should let me know what you want me to cover next okay because if you're interested uh, I, I'd be able to create a masterclass, Facebook ads masterclass for car dealerships, okay? I want to show you how I run my campaigns, 
audiences, CRM integrations, uh, how I split my budgets. Uh, I got a private group and private uh, channel where I share information with my customers, my clients. Uh, I use my tool, the Autobahn dashboard as well, just to share information, share specials, uh, share the deals, uh, share assets. Uh, who's doing what at what point, you know, it's super simple. I want accountability at every single step. Uh, copywriting tips as well. I want to share somewhat else uh, like asset vaults, like anything I'm, I've been using and my team has been using for to create ads for car dealers. I want to share that in this masterclass. So if you're interested, I want to give 80% off this masterclass to anyone who has watched this video until the end, okay? So you can go to autobahndigital.co slash masterclass Facebook ads 80 offer. Okay. The links in this is going to be in the description is what you see at the, um, on the screen right now. If you go over here, you'll be able to pre-order your training or just order it if it's already done because I'm working on it as we speak. It's January 2022. So you'll be, um, if anyone wants to come by and check out this, this, uh, this training, you can see it here, okay? So, that all being said, web class is over. What would you like to learn next? Okay, let me know in the comment section once again. Uh, you can, you are always welcome to uh, go over and get that course. It's going to be super cheap at eighty percent off. So, did you learn anything today? If you did, please like and share this video if you want. Uh, no pressure at all, but uh, it helps when you see um, when you share that to people who might be interested in that stuff whether you're running a dealership or running an agency. If you want to have a conversation offline as well, uh, you can reach out to us. And, um, you know, the best way to go is, you know, just drop a comment. Let me know what you thought about this, uh, this training today. And uh, I hope you crush it with your Facebook ads. I'll see you super soon.